What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out the biggest power bank, well I'm not sure if I can call this a power bank, the biggest power station that I've ever tried. So this is basically a massive power bank with the 1800 watt output, a power bank that can basically power your fridge for over 10 hours and of course it can power a bunch of other things. So this is called the Delta EcoFlow 1300. Now, price-wise, this is fairly expensive. I mean, you're looking at about $1,400 to buy this. But um, when you look at other power stations online for what this has to offer, I think the price is pretty decent. But again, not everyone needs um, such a power station, basically. But you'd use this if you're camping, you'd use this if there is a power outage um, at your place, you'd use this if you're using tools outdoors and you don't have access to a power plug, and so on. And throughout this video, I'm also going to show you a bunch of tools. I've tried a bunch of things to see what works with it and what doesn't work. Because when you read the specifications online, you don't always get a clear image of what works with what. Alright, so taking a quick look at the power station itself. Well, first of all, it is fairly heavy. It weighs about 30 pounds and it is mostly made out of plastic. Well, except for the bottom. At the bottom, we have um, some rubber legs. So whenever you place it down on something, it's basically not going to get um, scratched. We also have four fans and um, whenever this is under heavy load, those fans will start going. And they can get somewhat loud depending where you are, of course. And this is just an example so you can see how loud those um, fans get. So as you've heard it does get a bit loud and if you have this in a tent for example you're probably gonna hear those fans um, pretty good. Alright, so going back to the power station, on one side we have the power button and um, we also have a little screen that will show you how much charge you have left, what's uh, the input and output and of course we have um, the DC output. So we have a bunch of um, USB ports uh, on this side. Now I'm also going to show you what we can plug in those um, USB ports but I just want to show you a quick um, overview of the unit itself. Moving to the other side there we have um, the AC output so basically outlets that you'd have like in your house so you can plug in anything that you'd plug in um, normally in your house. You can even power on your TV if that's um, what you need and of course we also have um, a cigarette lighter so a bunch of things that um, you can carry in like a car so for example a mini fridge or something like that that you could power on from um, that cigarette port cigarette lighter port all right so on the other side so on the back basically we have the charging port so you can attach this to a regular um, 110 volt um, outlet that you have in your house you can also charge this in your car from um, that 12 volt um, cigarette lighter and you can also charge this from a solar panel unfortunately i don't have a solar panel for it so i can't really tell you how that works and i drive an electric car so it's definitely not going to charge this um, from the cigarette um, lighter um, in my car but i did charge this at home and i have to say that i was quite surprised to see how fast it charges from 0 to 100 in under 2 hours and this is not a joke, I have never expected that. I mean I've read the online that it can charge that fast but I never ever imagined that that would be true. So about an hour and 45 minutes to fully charge this from 0 to 100 which is insanely insanely fast. Alright so now that you've seen how this looks and you have a better understanding of how it works, I want to plug in a bunch of things so I can show you what works with it and what doesn't and we are going to start inside the house. I want to see if the computer behind me actually works um, if I'm editing um, plugged into this. We have a bunch of other electronics that I want to plug in and after that we're going to move outdoors and uh, we're going to try a bunch of um, tools. So let me move the camera to the computer here and uh, let's see what works with it and what doesn't. Alright, so I plugged in uh, the computer to the power bank. You can see it plugged in um, in the back there. And uh, I'm basically exporting uh, a video, a video that I've already made, but uh, this is when the computer would use the most um, power. So if we look at the power generator right here, um, we can see that uh, the computer is basically using about 130 watts. And uh, based on this usage and the fact that we have 81% battery, this power station would be able to 
keep the computer going for about six hours and that is pretty impressive um, if you ask me all right so the computer is still plugged in and um, i decided to plug in a bunch of other devices and charge a bunch of other devices so i'm using the ac part um, as well and the dc part so both sides at the same time and if we look on the screen there, you can see that um, it's outputting about 220 watts. Here I have a little power bank that's charging. I have a MacBook that's charging. I have four phones that are charging. And of course, the, the computer that's exporting that, uh, that video. So quite impressive so far and I'm sure that I can plug in more devices. So let me find something else that I could potentially plug in so um, we can see how that um, works. Okay, so I found a few more things to plug in and looking at the screen on the power station, now it's outputting about 300 watts. So I have this light that I have um, plugged in. I also have uh, the battery pack for my drone, the controller. And you can see behind there that I have all those um, plugged in um, the power station. You can probably hear the fans um, on the power station revving up um, as well. And all these from before are also connected and charging. So basically everything that I have in this room can be powered um, on from um, this power station. So next I think we're gonna go outside and um, see what else um, I can show. I have a bunch of power tools um, that I want you to see. So let's um, go outside and check those out. Since a lot of people are gonna be using this power generator with a bunch of power tools, um, I'm gonna use something like um, a plunge router so you can see how this does. Um, we also have um, a saw here. We are gonna be trying uh, this as well. I have a power vac power vac the shop vac uh, and i also have a blower and um, a bunch of other stuff so let's see how this one works first then we'll try this one then we'll uh, clean up with the vacuum and um, we'll move on from there Alright, and as you've seen, the first one did work um, really well. The first one was a 10 amp um, tool. Next, we are going to try this 13 amp uh, saw and see how this one does. So let's uh, see how this one works. Oh, I guess uh, this one doesn't work. Uh, with it, we get a little error there, uh, as you can probably see. So this saw is now going to work with uh, this power generator. Next, we plugged in this uh, blower. This is a 12 amp uh, blower, and we're gonna see if this one works uh, with the power generator. So we have it plugged in uh, in the back here. So let's see if this works. So this one seems to do quite well, even though this one is a 12 amp, the other one that we had earlier, this was um, a 13 amp um, tool. And uh, now we are getting the fan inside the, the unit uh, turning on, I guess to cool it down. Next we are moving on to this um, workshop vacuum, this is a 10 amp um, vacuum. So let's see if this one works and how long it uh, works. <laughs> vacuum does seem to work without um, any issues with the power generator. We are moving on to another um, electric saw. This is a 6.5 um, amps and once again um, I have it plugged into the power generator. Well everything else is plugged in at the same time. So let's see how this one works. <laughs> We are moving on to 
a drill this is a 5 amp drill and um, we are gonna screw in a couple of screws and see how that does and once again this is plugged into the power generator so for that it does seem to do quite well let's do another one so the drill works fine as you've seen and we have another saw here that uh, we're gonna try out well we already tried it and uh, we know that it's gonna stop after uh, a couple of seconds so let's see how this one uh, is gonna go so it stopped so for these two saws um, you're not gonna be able to use this basically and for our last outside test we're gonna check out and see if this electric um, lawnmower will work um, with the power um, generator this is a 12 amp uh, electric uh, lawnmower so this one should work but um, we'll find out in a second let's try that again so it's not gonna work with this uh, electric mower unfortunately i was hoping it would because it would make things so much easier but no this is a 12 amp uh, electric lawnmower and as you've seen for yourself you can power a lot of things with this um, power station i've even seen a video online where um, some guy um, powers a tesla model 3 from this now even though i have a tesla model 3 i didn't exactly try it myself um, you need a little uh adapter I, if i could call it an adapter and i don't have that at home and um, by the time i would order it from amazon it would be like three weeks but you could technically charge your um, electric vehicle um, with this as well so i can see this coming in handy in a million a million situations in many places and so on all right guys so if you do have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll try to answer um, whatever questions you may have if you did like the video don't forget to press that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching